When children have a case of acute rheumatic fever, the autoimmune reaction can damage the heart. As the immune system reacts to the infection, it makes special proteins, called antibodies, which help soak up and clear away the infection. But when the autoimmune reaction begins, these antibodies accidentally start attaching to the heart valves. This causes the valves to become swollen and start to function poorly. The heart valves start having trouble closing and blood can move in the wrong direction. We call this regurgitation. Some areas of the valve can become stiff and thick over time, especially in children that have many episodes of acute rheumatic fever. When this occurs, the valves may have problems opening up all the way. We call this stenosis, which develops later and is usually more serious. These are the three major features of rheumatic heart disease and can occur at any valve. One, heart valves with regurgitation. Two, heart valves with thickening. Three, heart valves with stenosis.